Hello YouTube, welcome back. Well, I've been noticing a common mistake beginners make, and it's not new. I've made the same mistake myself back in 2017 when I was starting on iOS development. But before we dive into it, I want to show you something. Well, this is Dribble, a really famous design website that showcases the work of great designers all over the world. I remember spending hours here back in the day looking for inspiration and dreaming about the day that I was becoming capable of building something like this. And this is Mobin, a website that showcases corporate level proven designs by several large companies. Did you see the difference? There's no fancy design, no fancy animations, just simple functional designs used by millions of people. Let's talk about it. Why am I showing all this? You need to stop wasting your time on learning these kind of fancy animations with fancy designs if your goal is to get a job in the industry. If you want to work for a corporation and become a professional iOS developer, there's more important things you should be focused on. And I will get into it later in this video. I know it's very appealing for a beginner when you look at that beautiful designs and animations, especially with SwiftUI that's very animation friendly, I would say. I know because I felt the same way back in the day in the beginning of my journey. But now that I've worked for a corporation for some years already, I know that fancy design skills is the least important thing I need. And I'm not criticizing who likes this. You know, if you enjoy doing and have fun doing it, that's completely fine. But if you have job outlook in mind, there's more important things than this. The UI layer on the iOS development as a whole is just a small piece of the puzzle. When you get into a company, you are not hired to build interfaces. You are hired to help the company to solve business problems. And the tools to solve business problems are not in the UI layer. It's actually everything between your UI layer and the backend. That's where the business logic comes in. So when it comes to become a professional iOS developer, focusing too much on the UI layer is not productive. And don't get me wrong, learning UI is very important too, but it shouldn't be your focus unless you are doing for fun or if you are building content around this topic. So what should you be focused on? You should keep building your SwiftUI interfaces, that's fine. But on top of that, make sure you get really comfortable with networking and making API calls using closures and also using async await that's one thing you should have no problem parsing a json object into your swift objects and dealing with this data asynchronously on your app learn about gcd and multi-threading what's the difference between a background thread and the main thread what should i do to avoid that a thread block my ui and etc learn memory management how arc works what's a retain cycle how to avoid memory leaks, and so on. Learn the most used design patterns on iOS, such as singleton, dependency injection, observer, coordinator, delegate, factor, builder, and the list goes on. You should also learn the basics about unit tests. Focus on those things will bring way better results to your career. And these topics are also very requested on job interviews. You know why? Because they are the most important things on your job. This knowledge will assure your employer that you are capable of deal with the business logic of their business. It will tell them that you are capable of properly deal with business problems using the right tools, right? They are not gonna ask you how to build a parallax effect on SwiftUI because it's not so relevant. And don't think that you can learn just enough to pass the interview because an experienced developer interviewing you, they will know when you don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't believe that you can fool an interviewer by just, you know, memorizing some concepts and give some random just prepared answers to the questions. They will know this. You need to really learn this stuff. Look, business has no time to build those fancy designs. The focus of the business 
is to get the product in production as fast as possible. There's business opportunities that cannot wait for developers taking too much time to build some fancy animation on the app. You know, if it works, is bringing real value to the business, for them it will be good enough. They just want to solve their business problems and bring value to their customers. And that's pretty much the message that I want to bring here today. I hope it can help you in some way and I see you on the next video. Bye bye.